Indiana may not have a Sleepy Hollow, but we do have a Spooky Hollow Bridge. As the story goes, there was a couple, a young couple, teenagers, you know. But here's the thing. The boyfriend had this sick obsession with spooking his girlfriend. Every chance he got, he was pranking her, doing anything and everything just to get that little bit of ee fear from her. And as someone who does the exact same thing to my husband, I get it. I get it. It's cute to see them afraid, right? So one summer night, the boyfriend decided to take his girlfriend out to the country. Told her they just had somewhere that they needed to go. So she was excited, but a little skeptical. After all, her boyfriend did go through extremes to put her in terrifying situations. And finally they arrived but not at the location that the boyfriend said they were going to go to. Instead, they showed up at a hollow bridge. The boy's car died randomly, and instantly the girlfriend knew this was just another one of his tricks, but it wasn't. So the boyfriend got out and was trying to figure out what was going on with his car. And the girlfriend the entire time was not having any of it. She didn't believe him. Whatever, go out and check the car. She knew deep down that he was just trying to scare her and she wasn't gonna fall for it this time. No. As the boyfriend gets out of the car and he walks around, he starts to hear some weird noises. He tries to tell his girlfriend about it, but again, she wasn't having any of it. She wouldn't even roll down the window to, like, hear him all the way of what he was trying to say. So annoyed, he goes and investigates what's moving off to the side of the bridge. He wasn't sure. The girlfriend never heard anything, but after about 15 minutes of sitting in the car and seeing that her boyfriend was not at the front of the car checking the engine... She decided, fine, I'll get out. He can surprise me and scare me, and we can just get on with our night and go wherever it is that we're trying to go to, if that's even a real thing. But right before she gets out, she hears a scraping above on the roof of the car. This is it. This is exactly what she had predicted. Her boyfriend was definitely about to scare her. Well, she was going to be five steps ahead of him. She already knew what he was planning from the moment that the car stalled. So she flings open the car door, steps out, looks up at the... And as she thought, she would see her boyfriend crouched on top of the roof in a position ready to scare. It's not what she saw. Instead, she was met with the sight of her boyfriend hanging, his body slowly swaying over the roof of the car. So, if you actually go to this location, yes, it's a real location. This is the actual legend, though as many times as legends get told, they always get twisted, added to... Heck, I've probably messed up this whole entire story myself and maybe fabricated a little bit of it. You'll just have to do some digging and find out. This is on Offfield Monument Road, I do believe, is where it's located in Indiana, so at least I'm helping you out with your Google search, right? And at the time that this legend came to exist, the bridge was actually a covered bridge, which makes sense to how the boyfriend was hanging and dangling above the car. But today it's been tore down, rebuilt, it is no longer a covered bridge, and I do believe it's just one of the smaller iron bridges. So it doesn't even have like the cool side structures. But yeah, it's a real bridge, and they still call it Spooky Hollow Bridge to this day, and this is a huge legend around it. Now the story goes that if you are to go there yourself, then your car will do the exact same thing that the boyfriends did at the exact same spot and it will just sputter out and die. Don't get out of your car though, no matter what you hear. 
don't get out of your car. 